hello everyone so today also i'm going to continue with the flashbang effect so here what i'm going to do work on is if i don't have a direct line of sight to the flashbang i will not so i will not be blinded by it so to test that let me first throw it here and now you see i got temporarily blinded and if I throw it here now I don't get the effect because I don't see the explosion okay an enemy is coming let me stop and fly again so right now if the flashbang happens very close to me even though I am not directly looking at it I should still uh, get the flash bam blindness so no I, I should be actually closer see now I'm looking away but still I got blinded because it exploded Whoa, closer now I can see that it went through it went through going through it see right great so right let's work on these details today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support right so for now for testing purposes I'm going to add a new input to throw flashbacks because previously what I did is uh, just replacing this BB grenade with the flashbang. So instead of doing that, uh, let's add a new input. But this is not the final way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to implement a way to switch the throwable type and then whatever the selected throwable type will be thrown with G. So here yeah. throw flash back. Let's use J. Flashback. Let's use this throw object. And the type I'll set to flashback. And I'm not going to do any check grenade count or anything like that because at the moment I don't have any inventory system that tracks the count of flashbangs that I have so this is just for testing right now the, the next thing I want to work on is we should not get the flashbang effect if we don't have a direct line of sight to the explosion but here as you can see even if I oh I threw a grenade even if I don't see the explosion I still get the flashbang effect so for that here this is the flashbang blueprint mm -hmm. so for that so after this point that's where we get the flashbang blinding effect so here you can enter branch 
and use was recently was actor recently rendered so we can use the tolerance that means how many seconds ago the last time this actor was rendered let's use point 0.1 so now after that if I throw the flash pan and if I don't oh I think I saw the explosion so if I don't saw the explosion I should not get the blinding effect see I don't but if I see it I do Let's throw here and look around. I still don't. Okay. Right. And also, I did a bit of a uh, research and find out like if we are really close to the flashbang, if there is nothing blocking, like a wall between the explosion and the clay, we should still get the blinding effect. So that means. If I throw the grenade here and look around, oh, I hit, I got hit by the explosion. Uh, wait, we should do something about that too. So, here in the explosive component, I think we have parameters to change the explosion radius. Here. explosion radius let's make it 100 so that if we are really close we would not be affected if we are only only if we are really close we will be affected right but if we are this close we should see get the flash mag effect the blinding effect even if we try to look away if there is nothing blocking it so to implement that only if this is false that means the blinding effect sorry that means we are not seeing the explosion so in that case uh, let's do a line trace channel starting position is through the grenade location and end position is player location uh, Oh, wait. Get player character. And then get character location. So the reason that I am only concerned about the player character here is because uh, the blinding effect is only applicable for the player character. The NPC characters, of course, we should do something like playing a stunned animation and temporarily hold their uh, firing and other activities but this uh, blinding effect we don't really have a way to uh, apply that exactly for the NPC characters so here let's get get direction from the grenade to the player because this should only work within a certain close range 
so let's multiply this by oh wait no we can directly use this start and end location and then we can break the hit if we get a hit and hit actor if this is equal to the player character <coughs> that means there is a direct line with there is nothing blocking from the explosion to the player and also we should check the distance and see if this distance is less than let's promote this to a variable let's call it flash radius what should it be let's do an end here so both these conditions should be true in order to get the blinding effect so if that is the case we can call this part which allows us to show the flashbang effect now let's test so if I throw the flashbang here and even if I look the way I should get the effect but it didn't work Let's add a debug type here. Okay, we do get a hit. Mm, right. So why isn't it true? Uh, let me increase this flash radius a bit hmm. oh. wait did it fall through the floor oh yeah it is working see I am looking at this way and I'm not seeing the explosion but still I got affected. No I didn't. I guess the radius. See? Now I got. Okay. So yeah, it is working. So yeah, with that, I'm going to stop this episode right here. So thanks for watching. Uh, so I will continue to improve on these effects and everything in future as well. So project files will be available for the download here in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.